Hi beginners. All right, here is your lesson for number 46. So after you finish 44 and 45, you should feel pretty comfortable reading the notes on the D string and the A string. And now just to have a little bit of fun with that, I want you to fill out number 46. You're welcome to write in your book as long as you use pencil. Okay, so here's what is happening in number 46. It's a little bit of a writing assignment, so you get to write music. And they give you the first phrase. So they give you the first half, and then you have to finish it. They also give you the rhythm uh, with which to finish it. So the first phrase, the rhythm is quarter, 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 rest. And the notes are D, D, F sharp, A, B, B, A, rest. So that will sound like this. Now you have to finish it okay and you can finish it however you want to using the notes on the D and the A string and they show you the rhythm they they uh, suggest for you is um, for the last two measures they're blank but there's a rhythm above it and the rhythm is quarter 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 rest quarter rest okay or if we use our words from earlier in the semester those are all quick bows so it would be for the last two measures, the suggested rhythm is quick, 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 rest, quick, rest, okay? So you can use any notes you want to on the D and A strings and finish that little tune. And next time I check in with you, which will be um, second semester, it will be next week, we're gonna do another check-in next week. I would love to see what you come up with for number 46. I'm really excited to hear your little creations and I hope you have fun um, with that, writing your own little piece of music. So use the first two measures there. I would suggest plucking them first so you can hear it. So you can do something like D, D, F sharp, A, B, B, A, rest. And then you're like, hmm, what might come next? Maybe I go back down. D, D, F sharp, F sharp, E, D. That's kind of, you know, a little bit boring, not super boring, but you might go back down or you might go up to the high D and it's really up to you. So have fun with it, play with it, see where you might go after those first two measures and then write it down in your book. Or you can, um, if you don't want to write in the book, you can write it down on a piece of paper. You can write out the first part, D, D, F sharp, A, B, B, A with letters. You can write it out with letters and then rest and then finish it up on a piece of paper. That's great too, all right? So it's really up to you, have fun with it, and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for being here.